Good morning and welcome to Church for Kids Lessons for Living Daily Devotional, a time for you and your family to come together to hear in a brief devotional, have an activity and a prayer time together. My name is Kelly Jackson Brooks and I'm the executive pastor with Central United Methodist Church in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Today we are beginning our new book, and that is the Bible stories, the book of Bible stories by Tommy DePaula. Wonderful story, wonderful illustrations. And so I'm looking forward to being in this study in this book with all of you. So this morning we are reading about Cain and Abel. Let us hear these words. Adam lay with his wife Eve and she became pregnant and gave birth to Cain. She said, with the help of the Lord, I have brought forth a man. Later, she gave birth to his brother, Abel. Now Abel kept flocks and Cain worked the soil. In the course of time, Cain brought some of the fruits of the soil as an offering to the Lord. But Abel brought fat portions from some of the firstborn of his flock. The Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering, but on Cain and his offering, he did not look with favor. So Cain was very angry and his face was downcast. Then the Lord said to Cain, why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? Now Cain said to his brother Abel, let's go out to the field. And while they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel and he killed him. Then the Lord said to Cain, where is your brother Abel? I don't know, he replied. Am I my brother's keeper? The Lord said, what have you done? Listen, your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. Now you are under a curse and driven from the ground, which opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. When you work the ground, it will no longer yield its crops for you you will be a restless wanderer on the earth. Cain said to the Lord, my punishment is more than I can bear. Today you are driving me from the land and I will be hidden from your presence. I will be a restless wanderer on the earth and whoever finds me will kill me. But the Lord said to him, not so. If anyone kills Cain, he will suffer vengeance seven times over. Then the Lord put a mark on Cain so that no one who found him would kill him. Now Cain went out from the Lord's presence and lived in the land of Nod, east of Eden. Amen. I know sometimes it's hard to um, think about some of the stories, especially from the Old Testament when we're reading scripture and what do they mean and what do they tell us today. This is a complicated story, but in the end, I think it's important to remember that God never left Cain's side. God was always with Cain and Abel in very different ways, but is always there, always loves, always cares for us in all of our decisions. So although these stories can be complicated and difficult to read and learn from, I think there's lessons that we can always glean from them. So continue to read these, read them along with me in scripture. This is found, of course, in Genesis. So look up that story and we are going to continue our book of Bible stories tomorrow. Now for our activity, we are finishing up this great book this week, this wonderful Ink About It book that we have found. And today's activity is before and after. This is one of those times of reflection. What were you like before? What are you like now? And you can say, what was I like before the beginning of the year last year, the school year? And what am I like now? What was I like before COVID started back in February, March? What am I like now? What have I learned? How have I grown? So it's a great way to kind of put that down on paper and to think about that and to look back and to reflect on that. So let us pray. Creator God for reflection, for stories that you continue to present to us, for all those pieces that we continue to learn, how you are always there regardless of where we find ourselves, where we have gone, where we hide from you, you are always there. Be with us this day and every day. It is in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. We'll see you tomorrow.